All right, this is uh, Kevin with Texas State University. Um, this is an informal and a uh, tutorial on how to download and install and use a free piece of software called Muriel uh, to teleconference with our MCU Codian. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is open a browser to the web. It doesn't matter if it's Explorer or Firefox or anything like that. This is for a PC only, not for a Mac and you'll want to navigate to a website called www.marial.com okay as soon as you do this you're gonna go to that website you're gonna go under products you're gonna pull down to the first selection which is Marial soft phone and you should see this page you're gonna scroll down towards the bottom and where it says click here to download a free 30-day evaluation version you're gonna do that you're going to be prompted to enter some information, uh, your email address and stuff, and when you submit that, you will get a email. And so I'm going to open my email here to show you what you're looking for. It's going to be from Muriel Sales. It's going to include an attachment. It's called Muriel LIC, the license. It's important that you do this. You're going to right click on license, you're going to save to your desktop as a text text document and I've already done this so it's going to ask me to replace it so then you should have a uh, text document called Muriel LIC on your desktop and we're going to use this later and next you're going to follow the link that they provide you to download the actual software okay so once you've done that you can close your browser now on your desktop, if you have saved the setup file and the license, then these are the two files that you're going to have. Muriel License, Muriel Setup. So we're going to go ahead and run this Muriel Setup for the first time. I'm using a Dell Latitude D620 laptop uh, with a GigaWare 2.0 megapixel um, camera that I got from Radio Shack. I'm also using a headset uh, from Plantronics which has a microphone built into it. So during this install you're going to go ahead and click forward through most of the uh, questions. You're going to install the software that you'll be able to keep for 30 days. And then it will walk you through an initial setup wizard. Okay, so if you see this license installation. Uh, if we have a valid license, select OK. We do have a valid license and it's going to ask you where your license is. And so if you remember, we selected it and saved it to the desktop. So I'm going to look on the desktop. There is the file that I'm looking for. I'm going to select OK. And it lets me know that this is an evaluation version. The license is specific to me, and it tells me how, much, how many more days I have to use it. OK, so I've read it, and I agree with it. Go to OK. So here's the initial configuration, all of which you can set up later if you want. So I am going to say start with Windows. And in the video, I already have my web webcam plugged in and it's operating. And here's a preview of it. So you're actually looking at me while I'm doing this tutorial. And the device is a USB video device. OK. We could go into advanced and we can adjust some of the features regarding this camera, but looks like it's a pretty good image, so I don't need to do anything to it. Okay, let's go to audio. Uh, audio input right now is coming through. I want it to come through my boom mic, so I just changed that. And the audio output is coming through my audio card, and uh, basically this is coming through my uh, headset. I'm going to test the, the output. I heard that in my earphones, nice and loud. And the codecs, you can leave all these default codecs checked. And uh, network H.323 should be checked. And here's the only thing that I can think of is you can do a, if you know what type of network you're on, then if you're on an internal sort of a, a network with your university or a company, you probably have a fairly fast uh, local area network. You can go with something uh, very high 
if you're on uh, calling from home and you have let's say cable modem which would be 512 or maybe something even lower if you're out of cable modem reach and you have a, an ISDN telephone line or even an older 56k uh, so I know that we have a pretty fast connection so I'm going to set it up there uh, the advanced setting for this is basically identifying specifically all of your network and this is something that's not necessary for you to to fill in okay so uh, I'm gonna go to h.232 um, let's see here I don't really have a I don't have to necessarily put a name in because we're not going to be using um, a registrar okay so there we go I'll go to next next and I'm done uh, I am going to unblock this to allow the program to communicate and then you should see the uh, Muriel um, software that we're using hi okay so that looks pretty good uh, all right so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, put your cursor up there in the top where it says phone number you're going to type in the following address it's 147.26.26.152 that's the IP address of our Cody and MCU. At this stage, you're going to hit the dial, green dial button, and you're prompted uh, to remember that you're using trial software. All right, you're going to hear a really pleasant female voice that uh, greets you and says that uh, you can enter a code to uh, join the conference and that's a code that we will supply you with in order to get into this uh, for our test purposes we've set one up and I'm going to enter that code right now and you can use these um, software keys up here to enter it and then when you're done entering the code you'd want to use the pound button okay so uh, we have confirmation we're in the conference this is what it looks like uh, we can expand this window a little bit by dragging it. We can double click on it to make it larger. Double click on it to put it back. And if there were more people involved or if the camera were on in, uh, in that conference you would see our Farsight connected. Uh, but this is uh, confirmation that, that you are involved in the call. You can look down here it does say you're connected uh, H323 and you're on call. We've been connected for a minute and 17 seconds. So when you're ready to disconnect, you go ahead and go back up here to where you entered the address and you select the red cancel call. And that's it. And uh, Muriel can be X'd out of at this stage. So good luck and uh, let us know how it goes.